The Windows MR headsets are incredibly cheap right now. You can get them for $200 off of Amazon or if you're not in the States, it's still worth it to actually import them to your country. I recently got the HP for 240 euros imported from the US Amazon side and that's still 200 euro cheaper than if I had bought it here in Germany. But what if you don't have the latest graphics cards? What if you don't have the GDX 1060, 1070 or 1080? Is it still worth it for you to get one of those cheap Windows MR headsets? Now, that's what this video is about. I have an older laptop which has a GDX 960M and in this laptop I checked out which apps and games are running well on the Windows MR headsets. Coming up! Hi and welcome to Mixed Reality TV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click the bell button so you don't miss anything. Now, first of all, let me show you the specs of that older computer that I tried out all these VR apps and games. This app here is the PC Checker app and you can get it from the Windows Store and it will check your computer for compatibility with Windows MR. So, PC compatibility check for Windows Mixed Reality. Let's do a quick check of your PC to find out if it's ready for Windows Mixed Reality. To get started, you must agree, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I totally agree to that. And now it's checking and then here it says, you're nearly there. This PC may be able to run Windows Mixed Reality, but some features might be limited. Okay, operating system, yes. Windows 10, fall creators update or later, check. Now here the graphics card. It's an NVIDIA GeForce GDX 960 M. All right, so this is the only problem here. The rest is good. Graphics driver is okay. CPU, it's an i7. Yep, it's okay. RAM, 32 gigabyte. Yeah, it's kind of okay. Disk space, all right. USB 3.0 is important and Bluetooth 4.0. So that is important. So the only problem here, as you can tell, is the GeForce GDX 960 M. But we have this symbol here. So it's not an X, it's not, an, it's not a red X. If it was a red X, it would mean no, it does not work. So if it's only this exclamation mark, then it means it might work. You may be able to run Windows MR, but some features might be limited. So in this video, I'm telling you what apps and games I could actually run. For this video, I didn't record any of the gameplay because I didn't want to put any further stress on my computer. I simply wanted to check out, does it work, yes or no. So you have to trust me here when I just tell you, yes, it works or no, it doesn't work. So now let me do that. So let's start what worked well with my GDX 960M. So the cliff house and everything that has to do with the cliff house worked perfectly. I could run around the cliff house. I could use Windows apps. I could check out the desktop. So if you want to work within the cliff house, that will work perfectly fine. And I made a video about how well you can work in the Cliff House. You should definitely check it out if you're interested in working in VR. That worked fine on that GDX 960M. You can watch Netflix. You can um, yeah, see the desktop and do everything that you would do on the desktop. You can start a Windows applications and put them to the walls in the Cliff House. Everything worked perfectly on my 960M. The next thing that I tried to do was to play some games. To be more specific, I tried to play some games that are offered for VR in the Microsoft Store. So great news for you guys. I could play quite a lot of games. So Super Hot worked perfectly fine. And I was actually quite surprised that, that Super Hot would work so perfectly fine on that lower spec machine. So yes, you can play Super Hot. Then I tried Space Pirate Trainer, a very fun game as well. And again, it worked without any problem. So you can play super hot and you can play Space Pirate Trainer. Then another game that worked without any flaws and that might, might make lots of you very happy, Minecraft. You can play Minecraft if you have a GDX 960M graphics card and it works perfectly in VR without any flaws. Another game from the Microsoft Store that I tried out and that worked really well was Fantastic Contraption. Now, Fantastic Contraption is a puzzle game where you have to build interesting machines and that works also without any problems at all. Now, unfortunately, one game that did not work from the Microsoft Store was 
Arizona Sunshine. So I could start it and it would boot up into the first screen, but then it wouldn't go any further. So unfortunately, Arizona Sunshine has two high requirements for that 960M and it did not work at all. Okay, so quite a lot of games from the Microsoft Store work, but there's also like uh, the odd game like Arizona Sunshine that wouldn't work. Now let's talk about Steam VR. Can you play Steam VR games and can you use Steam VR apps? That was the next thing that I tried out. Now, first of all, I was a bit disappointed because, well, I started Steam VR and, well, it also wouldn't really load, it wouldn't start up. So that was kind of a disappointment. I couldn't go to the Steam VR home. Or actually, when I went there, it was very, very slow and unusable. So I thought, oh, that's a big disappointment. I cannot use any of the Steam VR games. But then I simply opened the Steam client on my desktop and started some apps and games directly from that Steam client. And you know what? That worked. Now, one game that I tried out from Steam VR on my 960M graphics card and that worked really well was Rec Room. Rec Room is an incredible game. It's a multiplayer game and you'd be very happy to know that if you have a lower spec PC, like for example, one with a 960M, you can play Rec Room and you won't have any problems at all. Now, some other apps that I tried from SteamVR and that worked perfectly are Tilt Brush and Google Earth. So these two Google apps work flawlessly on the 960M and that is really good news. So actually you can have quite lots of VR apps and games run on that older 960M graphics card. So now let me talk about the Steam VR games that didn't work and there were most of the others that I tried. So I tried um, Job Simulator, didn't work. I tried Rick and Morty, didn't work. I tried Raw Data, didn't work. Gorn didn't work, Audio Shield didn't work. So really most of the other games I tried didn't work. The only good exceptions were Rec Room, Tilt Brush and Google Earth. But yeah, for lots of you, that might be enough. And yeah, of course, I also tried VR Chat. <laughs> lots of people always ask me, does VR Chat work on Windows MR? And in general, yes, of course, it works perfectly on Windows MR. But on that older computer with the 960M graphics cards, it didn't really work. Now, this video, of course, is not a comprehensive one. I couldn't check out all of the games and I simply wanted to give you an idea. If you have a graphics card like the GDX 960M, what kind of apps and experience are you actually able to use with the Windows MR headsets? Now, if you want more information, then why don't you just ask me or ask the MRTV community? And you can do that on the MRTV Discord server, which is a great free resource. And well, you can simply get in touch with me and with the MRTV community. And how do you do that? Well, it's so simple. Simply click on the link in the description below and you will get to the MRTV Discord server. Check it out, it's incredible and it's free. If you don't want to join the MRTV Discord server, then you can also, of course, simply leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. Now, that's it for this video. I really hope it was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not subscribed to Mixed Reality TV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.